All right, in this video, I want to cover an article we recently published on Wit Secure Labs titled, Should You Let ChatGPT Control Your Browser? In the article, we explore the practical risks of granting LLMs access to web browsers with a focus on prompt injection vulnerabilities. Specifically, we demonstrate the practical risks via two scenarios where attackers manage to hijack the browser's agent, to exfiltrate confidential information from a user's mailbox, and to force the merge of a malicious pull request on a GitHub repository. All right, here we see Taxi AI, a research preview that serves as an excellent proof of concept for a browser agent which is driven by a large language model. Taxi AI is implemented as a browser extension and can access the current tab and perform any actions on the page to carry out a task set by the user. In this example, we load Outlook in the browser and task Taxi AI to check out our mailbox. Of course, this is a very basic generic task, but we could ask it to do other more useful things, such as summarizing emails, replying to them, deleting spam, you name it. Now, let's see how an attacker might exploit this. In this scenario, the attacker's objective is to exfiltrate confidential information from the user's mailbox. For example, a secret bank access code. To do so, the attacker sends an email to the victim. The body of the email contains an adversarial prompt that effectively injects a new objective into the agent's context, requesting it to look for this bank code the attacker is interested in and send it to them. We can also easily hide this malicious prompt by making the text blank. Let's now move back to the victim. The malicious email is now in their mailbox, and let's imagine they task the agent again to review the contents of the mailbox. As said before, the task the user asks the agent to perform on the page can be anything. As you can see, whatever the original task was, upon opening the malicious email, the agent is now hijacked and its new task becomes to go look for the bank code and send it to the attacker. And as we can see, that's exactly what's happening. The agent composes and sends the email with the access code to the attacker. Now, I want to stress that I am not speaking on Taxi AI, I think the team behind it did a great job uh, demonstrating the potential of the idea. With my engineering hat on, I see LLMs as one of the most promising innovations. Yet, wearing my hacker's hat, it's important to me to highlight the potential cybersecurity concerns. And I am not an AI Duma by any stretch of imagination. My intention is not to undermine the technology or suggest that LLMs aren't incredibly useful tools. In fact, I use them on a daily basis. Instead, I want to make a contribution and push our community to tackle these challenges head on and develop effective solutions. I did choose Taxi AI explicitly because it's a research preview, not a production or a finished tool. So it allows me to illustrate the fundamental issue of prompt injection without exposing the vulnerabilities of any specific solution people out there might actually be using or developing at the moment. So to better understand the attack, we'll now look at how browser agents like Taxi AI work. This is very similar to how all other LLM agents work, and they're based on the React Reason and Act framework. I already covered React in a previous video on prompt injection, so if you want to know more about this, just check that video out. Let's walk through the operational loop of Taxi AI. All starts with the user providing their instruction. The executor component of Taxi AI retrieves the current page content and prepares a prompt for the LLM. The prompt includes a system message, 
which provides precise instructions on how to operate and respond, together with a list of actions that the LLM can use to interact with the page. The actions that can be performed are click for simulating clicks on any item on the page and set value for entering text into fields. The prompt also contains the task requested by the user and a memory of previous actions and thoughts behind those actions, which initially is blank. And of course, the current page content. The LLM processes the prompt and outputs its thoughts and actions. Taxi AI parses the thoughts and actions out of the LLM output and executes the required action on the page. Then it retrieves the new page content reflecting the action's outcome and updates the memory by appending the current thought and action for context. This forms a new prompt which is given to the LLM to continue the operational loop. As we can see in this example, the loop continues until the LLM determines that the task is concluded, either by fulfilling the user's goal or encountering an error. When the LLM is happy that the task has been completed, it outputs the finish action. So Taxi AI knows to stop and return back to the user. All right, now that we understand how Taxi AI works, let's look specifically at where the injection is happening. Because Taxi AI has to provide the content of the page as part of the prompt, if the attacker can control any part of the page, they can effectively alter the prompt and inject a new objective, exactly as we have seen in our example. It's important to note that the attacker doesn't need to control the entire page on which Taxi AI operates. Provided they can control a part of it, they can inject the new instructions. Now, there are a couple of challenges with the attack that I've described and they're covered in detail in the With Secure Labs article. But in a nutshell, let me show you what these challenges are. Consider what happens if an attacker's injected goal causes the LLM to navigate away from the current page. In such a case, once the LLM moves to the new page, it loses the malicious instructions. It forgets what the attacker wanted and returns to the user's original request. This disrupts the attack, of course. To counter these, attackers might try making the LLM remember the malicious goal by repeating it as part of the thoughts it outputs. This way, even as the context changes, the harmful instruction persists because the LLM is always fed all its previous thoughts back into its current context as a form of memory, as we've seen before. Next, there's the issue of attack visibility. Taxi AI, for instance, shows what the LLM is thinking, creating a clear record of any malicious activity. Yet, attackers could prompt the LLM to omit details of its actions, hiding them from the logs. We demonstrate this in another example in the original article. But this tactic has a flaw. If an attack involves several steps, agents that rely solely on these thought logs as a form of memory, like Taxi AI, will struggle. They lose track of previous actions and can't plan future ones. Often, they just end up stuck, repeating the same actions without making any progress. Now, you might be wondering what to do about prompt injection, how to fix it. Indeed, this is not a simple problem. And I'm planning a dedicated video to cover all of the remedial actions that we can apply to the problem. For now, I'll just cover the highlights that are relevant to browser agents like Taxi AI. This is an alignment challenge. LLMs operate on natural language, a domain where the distinction between instructions and data to operate on is vague. This absence of a structured format makes LLMs inherently susceptible to injection. 
as they cannot easily distinguish between legitimate prompts and malicious inputs. And attackers can always find creative ways of prompting to misalign the LLM from its original objective. This means that a robust defense strategy needs to treat LLMs as untrusted entities and build very strong controls around them. In the case of browser agents, this is particularly tricky as the LLM is given an immense amount of agency and it's challenging to fully mitigate all the risks associated with this particular use case. The core recommendations involve limiting the agency of the LLM by requiring human approval before every action is taken. This approach is commonly referred to as human in the loop and remains the gold standard of defense when dealing with LLM agents. The other mitigation is to try to detect whether a page contains prompt injection attempts. This is typically done by training separate language models specifically on prompt injection datasets. These models can then be used to scan the content of a page before providing it to the LLM for processing. It is important to note that this mitigation implements essentially a probabilistic approach. It's yet another model. And although it will be able to reduce the attacker's ability to provide successful adversarial prompts, it cannot completely eliminate the possibility of an attacker bypassing these filters. As an example of this, a research on browser agents was picked up by folks at Prediction Guard, and they submitted a pool request on the Taxi AI repo, where they show how to implement checks for prompt injection via one of their APIs. Now, they do offer all sorts of services and APIs to actually help organizations integrate LLMs successfully. I am not affiliated, I should say, in any way with them, but I do appreciate them picking up the research we did and contributing to solving these and other issues with LLMs. So do check it out. That's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. As said, I'm planning to release a dedicated video to prompt injection defenses. So if you want to learn more, just subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. It helps the algorithm learn that this information is useful and pushes it to people that share similar interests as you do, and it helps the channel grow. Thank you very much.